well in the Premier League. How, uh, I take it there's no different approach really for this one, is there? No, we want to try to be competitive, try and try and win the game. It's uh, an important game for us. We want to do well. We want to progress. We know we're playing against a, a, a really talented team, so it's going to be difficult, but the, the approach is still the same. Um, your mistakes were costly, weren't they, at, at the weekend? But did you still take an awful lot from that game, positives? Yeah, we did. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, whenever you analyse a game, you've got to, of course, look at yourself and look at how you can do better, which which we have to do. And um, there are opportunities for that. But also you have to also uh, appreciate that there's an opponent on there as well and, that, and that played at a really high level. So when you're playing at that level a game um, you do get punished if you're slightly away um, but the the guys gave everything I said after the game I, I um, you know there's ways to lose and I think we were sort of okay with how we lost that game because we gave everything there was a, a real attempt to get back in we tried to be ourselves like I said against one of the best teams if not the best team in the world and the fact you've got Liverpool on Saturday it's a tough run of fixtures isn't it does that have any bearing at all on your your selection tomorrow evening? Yeah, it is. It's just, we, we knew it was going to be a tough week. I think you're facing yeah, two of the best teams in, in the world and then Leicester as well and they're arguably up there as well. So it doesn't get too much uh, tougher. Um, so there's a, a little bit of consideration there, but it's also about our group, about we've got 20 plus players that are fighting every day to play and um, they're supporting each other. And this is an opportunity for, for guys that maybe haven't played as much to play doesn't change our approach, doesn't change our mentality. We want to try and be competitive, like I said at the start, and, and try to win the game. But um, it's important that players feel that they have an opportunity to show what they can do. Yeah, I, yeah. you'll be aware it's a competition. Brighton have never won quarterfinals, I think, at best. But um, it maintains some sort of momentum winning games, doesn't it? It keeps the fans excited and, and very much on side in that regard. Yeah, whoever you speak to, winning games is better than than not. Um, that's common common sense, of course. But um, you, we can't look at anything other than the game. Leicester away is a very very tough game, and um, you know Brendan will be wanting to be competitive and want to win the game as well with his squad. So we're under no illusions. We know it's a tough game, but at the same time, we're excited for it. It's a great opportunity for our players, and um, we're looking forward to it. You have beaten them this season, two one in the in the Premier League. Does that have any bearing whatsoever? Not really, to be honest. I, I, I don't think the pass count, counts for too much. I think it'd be two completely different teams, and I imagine Brendan will make some changes. You know, we'll we'll make some changes. Um, and it's 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 at it's at their place. They'll look to be, like I said, dominant at, at home. So we need to be ready for that, and we'll just compete, and do our best. It's uh, like I said. It, it's a great game for us. Um, good opportunity for some of the guys. So we're looking forward to it. Just finally then from me, have you any injuries or issues? Uh, I know you're probably not going to name your team at this stage, but Tarek Lamptey likely to, to to start this one? Well, no, we've to. We, we we've got a plan with Tariq and we've had a plan with Tariq, but of course it depends on how much involvement he's had. He played quite a bit, the more than anticipated against Manchester City. So, with a view to Liverpool, we'll, we'll make the call about him. Um, we haven't got any any fresh injury problems. We just need to make the the decision around who's playing in the squad. Good luck. Thanks very much. Thank you, Graham. How much of a boost is it to have Adam Webster available again? Is this a timely return for him potentially um, in coming weeks? Well, whenever Adam's available, it's a timely. Um, timely uh, occasion, I think, because he's uh, he's an important player for us. <clears throat> I think if you you know think back to the Watford game, he's probably our most effective attacking player um, in many ways. So he's he, he gives us a different dimension. But he's um, yeah, he's, he's he's competing for his place. He's he needs to build up his minutes. So it's a good opportunity for him tomorrow. And um, yeah, he'll be involved tomorrow. It's great news for us. In the last couple of rounds, you've had a few youngsters involved, whether that's in the team or on the bench as well. As the competition goes on, though, is it more difficult to include them? Um, not really. I think it's just uh, at all the time, you just got to decide what the right thing for, for us is, for the team. 
And um, if that's in the 23s, that's, that's fine because we, we, we have faith in them and, and we believe in them. Um, and sometimes it will be a different decision. So we just have to take it for what it is at the time that it is, make the right call. But um, one thing I know is the guys won't let us down. Um, it was mentioned that the club have actually only got to the quarterfinals of this competition. How much of a, um, a, a sort of, I suppose, a, a moment would that be to actually achieve that to get to the quarterfinals of this competition? Uh, it's not something I've given a massive amount of thought to, Johnny. We want to win the game. That's um, in cup competitions. There's no point thinking anything other than the next match you play. And um, we're ambitious. We, we we understand that a cup run can can help the positivity. It can it's something for the supporters to like and enjoy. And we'll do our best in the game. <clears throat> um, we want to be competitive. And we want to try and win, as I'm sure Leicester will as well. So we're looking forward to it. We're excited for it. Um, we go tomorrow and we'll we'll give it a go. And what do you make of Leicester City? They have a lot of players that quality players that haven't been starting in the Premier League as well. Brendan's got some options there, uh, just as you have, hasn't he? Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's, I mean, they've assembled a really good squad. It's it's well documented that their recruitment has been fantastic, which means they haven't just got 11 players. They've got a, a squad of players and I'm sure they'll be looking at that because they've had a heavy fixture period in terms of Europa League, um, where they've, you know, they've got some good results since the, since the international break. Um, moved to a three at the back, which which looks to you know suit them really well. But again, you, in terms of what they do, you never know. So we just have to adapt on the night, I think. And um, but we yeah, we've got a lot of respect for Leicester City as a football club. Um, how they've achieved what the, what they've achieved and how they've achieved it, I think, is really impressive. Uh, Aaron, in, in in the last in the last game, a uh, couple of goals get you through against Swansea, and since then's not really um, not really. F- featured much should these games be viewed as um, opportunities for players like that to to maybe prove a point to you to why they should be in your thoughts more well yeah I think any time the guys get the play is an opportunity that's that's the life of a professional footballer it's, it's an opportunity to show what you can do of course everybody has opinions and um, it's easy to speak and talk but actually the best way to do it is to let football speak and what you do on the pitch. I mean, um, yeah, we were really pleased with Aaron in the last game. Uh, nice for him to get some goals. We, we, we've been in the, we've been picking up points in the Premier League, so uh, it's not so easy. That's how life is. You, you have to wait your chance. You have to be patient. You have to keep working. You have to keep focusing on yourself, and then make sure that if the if the opportunity comes, um, that you're ready and you can take it. And how, how 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 do you deal with that? What kind of advice? Are you able to give to guys like you know Aaron who maybe come up and say, "Well, look, you know, what else do I have to do to to get an opportunity?" Well, it's I, I can imagine it, it's it's a bit more of a difficult conversation if you're down the bottom of the league and you haven't got any points. But I think up to the weekend we were fourth in the Premier League, so clearly the eleven that are playing are, are doing okay in, rel- in relative terms. So sometimes it's life of a professional footballer sometimes it's not fair sometimes um, the coach makes a different decision um, it, it's what you sort of sign up to when you when you sign for a Premier League club because it's not just 11 players there's a, there's a there's a squad and there's competition because it's the highest level as I said I think all you can do as a player is not get um, not let my decision the coach's decision affect your um, your response really so make sure you're ready. Make sure that um, when you're on the pitch, you're doing your best, that you make it difficult for the coach not to play you. And I think um, all you can do is be honest, articulate your thoughts to the player, and then the response is their responsibility. Do you find it easier than it had been, obviously, when Brighton are you know, at, the, at the other end of the table? Is it easier conversations to, to have with people then rather than, than it is now? I I think it's always um the the worst part of the job or the the challenging part of the job is 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 leaving players out because I'm 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 a bit empathic so I understand that they're they're under, I understand that they're disappointed I understand that they're frustrated the guys want to play they're, they're young and ambitious and 
that's how it is. So you have to make those selections. And like I said, I never make a selection based on how much I like someone or not. It's not personal. It's my decision. I, 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 I do my job. I do my analysis. Think about which team is the right team to pick the to win the game. But I, I might not be right as well. Uh, and and I and I articulate that to the guys. Like I said, the choice the choice of how you act to a coach's decision is your choice. Um, all I can do is provide a framework that gives them a, an understanding of why they're not playing as best I can, and then um, yeah, every every decision is 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 that, and every conversation is just has to be as honest and as truthful as you can be.